Greetings everyone, and great here with another HBARS 4 replay. Spawn top right side as the Red English, we have WOM01. Spawn left side as the Cyan Abbasid Dynasty, we have ETA. Let's see now. English versus Abbasid Dynasty. English, of course, has access to the longbows and the vanguard and early mana arms. Does the opponent have access to camels and the golem? Generally, the Ghulam is more of an anti-light unit, and his opponent man, English mana arms are the heaviest man, armored mana arms in the game. And not to mention the fact that it's really hard to deal with feudal age mana arms. So, if the English player masks out uh, feudal age mana arms, it can be incredibly deadly. Do not have the Abbey of Kings being put on the field. A little bit uncommon. We got the economic wing over here. Very common. Debbie King's course does allow him to pull out a king and get some good health regen early on. Got yourself a nice mobile medic. Useful for your horsemen and for anything in general. Scout here may receive some additional arrow fire. Does not. Does have some sheep here. He's a lead them to victory back home. The people's stomachs. Now got the Abbey King's now pulling a field and the economic wing completed. He does need to go for the Fertile Crescent, reducing the cost of economic buildings and housing. Nice little cheap upgrade early on. It makes stuff a little bit cheaper. Going for some regular spearmen. Of course, got the king here. He did spot out the Abbey King, so he's going to get some defensive spearmen to stab the king. Now, I've got the king now plowed on field, making his advance. The king has more health than, say, a early knight, and a lot but less armor, and a little less attack. He's not exactly a most very powerful combat unit, but he does have some other benefits. The king has now moved right there. Signs bring back the sheeple. A good number of berries collected on the field, and signs eyeing for a second town center with stone being collected on up. Blue red is now pulling out his own town center there in the middle of all these forest puppers. Howdy. Knight now advanced forward does not get stabbed by a bunch of angry people pointy sticks. They are the Horton Spearman research as well. I think he just got that as well. And the king is not going to have a really good time in this region. His scout has moved up here. King is trying to find opportunity to go on in. I wonder, how's the spotting range of the king? Not good. So, same uh, radius as a knight or Keshek. I look right here, Exotic Doggo getting some bites over here. There it is. The king's now falling back, does get some damage onto him, does heal himself up. And the uh, wolf is getting some good bites, gnawing on the shoulder of that villager. He actually may go down, he's not paying attention. If he gets to a couple of these guys. Inside the town center, and... Oh! Wait. No, he did go down. He did lose a villager there to that uh, wolf. It actually does count as a villager kill for his opponent. I don't think I saw him kill a villager yet this game. So one villager lost foolishly by the English. We got a second town center deployed out right here. Now, do have a scout and the king of Ansel Forge trying to find some harassment? There are towns that are going on up for Cyan. Very nice. This will help him push his village count much higher. Red maybe eyeing for the. Uh, not Abbey of Kings, the uh, Palace of Kings, in order to get his own third town center up and going. A little bit, bit passive right there, so I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. Do you know how the fresh food stuff's not being put on field? Let's find a volley there on that scout there. 
Not gonna be spearmen advancing forward for some odd reason. We do have these bears being collected here, and the king will find opportunity here. And his girlfriend will get some attacks on in. Now they're going to try to shank the king. They do actually fully encircle the king there, preventing from escaping. Does kill off the village there. And he just may need to run away. The spearmen are far out of position. And that side to fall back there. And thanks to the health regen aura, he's able to patch himself up and his girlfriend quite quickly. As well as the scout itself has good health regen. And now the king's palace to on the field. So soon it'll be two, three towns, centers versus three towns, but of course the English has the next age. One villager kill for both players, technically. Zalak Dago does go down there. And does find a good charge attack there. And does not take out that village there. I think the scout blocked his movement. So something that will be falling on back. We do have additional spearmen now on the field. Mill's has gone up, giving some extra capacity on these berries. Now here comes the king coming in once again. There was a spear brace there, does avoid it. He's trying to find that wounded villager. But I think that, oh, there was a wounded village there. And now we've got the next age, military wing on the build queue as well, which will give him a pair of free camels. Ultra kill there, very, very nice. And now I've got a big wave of nice people on the field. These free camels can be very useful very soon. And the King's Palace does get pulled on the front line there. And Red's now eyeing to protect this flight from some Palisade walls. This map does have access to trade posts, but they're not in convenient locations for maximum trade. Red's a little bit more convenient since it can place a bit more diagonal go this way here. But blue science is actually more central, making it even worse for trade for him if he ever wants to go for trade. The king and the scout is trying to fall him back. Does it go and try to engage? Gets good damage there. Does he get the scout there? There goes his girlfriend. Just good at spotting stuff for him. Got these knights now once again charging this region over here. This couple spearmen here. They could be focused down by these knights. And they will get charged there, taking out one villager immediately. They will focus on these spearmen there. This knight needs to fall back. He can fall back to the abbey to get some healing. Or to the king himself. Get some arrow fire then the king. The king only has three pierce on the moment. These knights do have four. And now I've got these camels put on the field. They do bonus damage versus uh, cavalry. Over here, the knights are advanced forward. They will find some spearmen here. They will focus them quickly. Though they will have damage deep off here. Apparently the king doesn't get any minus damage there from the camel's minus aura. The camel on ease trait. Because it says plus zero. The other ones do get like the plus, like minus five. Maybe that's a uh, graphical bug. Let's get a good attack there. Get some good slices on them. A couple of soldiers do go down. There's a good number of wounded knights here, so we may just want to fall back to the abbey, get some healing. This knight definitely needs to fall back. Camels are a little bit slow. They do have 1.62 mile movement speed, similar to knights. There's some more camels on the field. It's eight, eight, eight camels on the field, eight more on the queue. 
He gets some great health regen there. Let's get a charge attack there on the spear. No spear brace there. Turn around, so engage. Some of these knights are starting going down. A large number of them are actually quite wounded. And the Abbey's right here. He needs to perhaps stay back and some health regen. These knights are uh, being too aggressive, advancing forward. I think the aggressive stance is being a bit of a problem for him. Let's take out one of those knights there. It's a good health regen in this area. King's Palace from fire away with arrows. Another scout does go get deployed and goes down. Now I got the villager archers now engaging on in as well. Trying to help deal with these archers. Also got a bit of nope, no armor down the camels. And the king does go down. He still acts as a health region or with the abbey. Now the rest of these moving are being pursued. Red has small military force in the field. Gain another king and more knights. At this point in time. Trying to find absent density so general weakness is they don't have any solid way to deal with or unique way to deal with mana arms. So mana arms will be a good transition. Just with the fact that English can get some heavier mana arms with the armor clad research. He may want to stick by this the Abbey there to get some good health regen. Does get a good charge attack there. These camels being thrown away, they're expensive. They are uh, 160, 30, 30. Which will make it that they will be, what, 2200? Knights are, of course, 24, not 2200. Uh, 220. Knights, of course, are 240. You're now the veteran longbow being researched. Very nice. That's what helped engage those spearmen. And over here, looks like he's trying to build a monastery. Go we'll find some camel to hits there. He's going to stand a fire with these villagers there. There's some palisade walls there as well. Vaughn gets out some. Well, he has no research right here. Cyan has a good amount of research coming on out, including economic research. Red has two farming, one lumber. Yeah, trying to does get a monster on the field. I am for some, well, not yet a monk yet to claim up the relic. He's trying to torch down this wall there. Red has a good large number of knights here, which could find this EM. Uh, village trying to run away now. They're retasking to this gold mine here. Very nice. Not in a great path there, but luckily his opponent didn't Q move them in different orders past that running down that wall. And a uh, monk here could pick up the relic and try to go for conversion immediately. Let's say there's some good kills on these villagers. And science having trouble moving forward for these camels. And does not even try conversion. Alright, we're seeing some fire there. Only has four pierce armors. The extra arrows will do two damage each rather than just one. Now some torch down this money camp as well. Now the towns that are being played out by science when Haven Town centers, that will be a towns of number four. He is behind a village. His opponent has killed off a good number of them. There's a good charge back there. Now that these horses are engaged, they do get, did receive some good health benefits from the king. Some of these knights will go down to these uh, camels. And that was not overall good engagement there by those knights. The reduced damage plus the spearmen for counters is too much for these knights. He needs to get some other things. He's starting to get out some longbowmen. They do this extra... They... Camels have no inherent armor or pierced armor to resist the longbowmen, so they will do generally well versus these camels as well as uh, spearmen. Let us 
We got good on the camels here. Has one lancer of his own. He's uh long bone support. He could try to pull out some palings prematurely in order to help uh, funnel those camels into a bit of a death pit. Now do you have the man at arms, the Vanguard man at arms, the early man at arms research, and the armor clad research. Giving the man at arms plus two plus two armor as well as going to some more research as well. It does get plus two pierce damage. Which would be very useful for these long bowmen. As a handful of spearmen support out as well. Bowmen fan support, they will get annihilated. One will have a really good damage output, so they can hit armored stuff items pretty quickly, pretty easily. The knight and king's advanced support, they will not spot this monk the relic, and science picked up has stored away three relics and he has picked up two. He's actually even claimed this relic as well, so Simon will soon have all three relics. Very important. Some forest members are being collected up here. The knights will stop to that. So they're just gonna run away into the town centers now. Good damage there. There's a breach there from them chopping down those trees. Some of these villages are have gone down. Does have some long going here to attack. Everyone gets a hit there as well. Primary town center does have additional arrows. Longbowman starting to set us up away. Lance is trying to breach the uh, close the gap there. The experience just need to advance forward. Let's have a network of castles here. Let's get this other outpost garrison as well. He's having trouble. There's a good number of golems here. They do have six pure storm at the moment. Lancers are being focused down. There's actually a very large number of golems here. One woman will do okay with them, but nothing too devastating. He may want to get out some crossbow and mix in with his uh, long bowmen's turn, right? A couple of lancers being sent forward. Very good. Or knights. Mixing the main arms will also be very useful for a better front line. It would do very well with these golems. Gulliams, whatever they're called. Spearman over here will get overwhelmed. That's how he's long bone just general attack move, trying to get as much damage as he can to his key alums. Got these villagers trying to advance forward, trying to get out another outpost for the network of castles. Oh, or maybe I am for a keep, an outpost, and a mine there. Up here, got the number of camels, so a little bit wounded. Uh, you can capture. Sorry, just all your rumble comments. You can either capture the sacred sites, or you can go and kill your opponent. Either a possibility. Most people go for Annihilation Victory because you can't capture sacred sites until you get to uh, later on the game. Longbone Advanced Forge, which gets a good damage on these Gulongs. Lances are closing distance, they do have a good amount of Pierce Armor. And now Blue's Science Iron for some defensive uh, keeps there. Red's trying to go for aggressive tower for a network of castles. Those are pushing forward. They're going to get that keep up very quickly. Trying to go for these villagers there. Got some main arms and chasing the Gulams. They do have 12 damage. The Gulams have 10 damage. And right now, the English uh, man at arms is definitely a bit more heavier than these Gulams. Longbone just trying to run away up there. I do hear Maganel being pulled. I uh, heard some sort of siege weapon there. Maganel's on the build field for Cyan. Knights are advancing around. More long bone, more man at arms for pushing forward. Do not have siege units here, so we can't pull out some battery rounds on the front line. Long bowmen, oh, just trying to run away. They're going to go through a bit of a gauntlet there. Man at arms charging forward. There's an Elker Castles here. Keeping up rid of the Spring Gold right there. Does stop the Maganel from being floated out there. Now trying to eye for these villages there. Good picks there. Get some of these uh, villages down. The Lions are trying to stop them. These long bones trying to advance away. Over here, Lance is moving down over here. Over here, we do have these long bones advancing forward. These good hits there onto these Elons. We do have the Lancers trying to get some good damage on in. Right now, Sai needs to pull out some crossbows in general, or more Lancers. Both would be a good idea. Now, do have the Berkshire Castle being pulled on the field. Powerful defensive placement there, but it is out of range of this region, as well as gold deposit that's being collected. 
Man Arms and Gates and Gilons over here. Does get the power up and going, so it has a network of capsules up and going. And starting to torch down some of these outposts now. Got some forward production here. Camels and Mice trying to find another opportunity to go on in. There's a breach over here from the Utilize. But they're being whittled down there. The King has gone down. Outpost is being forced there. Red is now kind of a trigger shape, but needs to fall backing overrun by the Gilons and the Lancers. These main arms receive quite a bit of damage as well. Because of the keeps in the region, no golden oil of research. Up here, and there's Berkshire Castle up and going. Annihilates a single villager. And we're going to take up these three uh, villagers here. Berkshire Castle's range will extend out all the way over here, which will deny some of these farms and will slowly whittle down the keep. Won't be out of range of town center. Showing that farm who's boss, making a bunch of kebabs out of that wheat. Now, do you have the culture room being researched by Cyan now? Man, I was pushing my forward. No additional research for a red, even though he has the brick trap next age research. He doesn't have a whole lot of resources at the moment. It's long to get out the enclosures relatively soon. He also just needs more front line here. His front line is disintegrating. Red has not been able to mass a large enough army. And his bones have been able to overwhelm those long time just straight up heal on and went them for relatively early. And he's been very good with that. Just able to mass them up quickly and early. He stuck around nights too long and allowed him to be picked apart by those camels a bit too much. And when he was transitioned to the long bowman, his opponent was already transitioned to the man at arms. Villagers started going down. Red still has a significant number of villagers, but he is numbers gonna be has been even out and has taken advantage. Red has gone for another keep here, unable to get it built in time. Berkshire Castle I guess we really should have been back here for defensive replacement. Man arms gets good damage over here. Trying to try to get this keep up and going. The King's Palace is nearby. Not garrisoned, however. Outpost here is Garrison. And now we do have Imperial Age for the Edison Dynasty player. As King's Palace outpost and the keep garrisoned on up, we got these long bones can speak the damage on in, slowly whittling down these Gilons. Science falling back, he's starting to put out some uh, crossbows up to these man at arms. But they're getting focused on by these keeps. His farming line's not getting hit as well. Red has a third of his villagers hiding away. And has nothing to do with his force here. Does have another keep to go for another keep up there. He has a little less than 600 stone. That stone deposit's untouched. And that stone deposit here is mostly, well, one third touched. Of course, going to be cleaned up by this long bone. Berkshire Castle receiving a fire there from the Canterbury Trebuchet. Berkshire, rather Berkshire Castle now. Since it is a landmark, it does take wood to repair rather than stone. Gilon's fans of fortune get some good damage over here. These players are currently going for mass longbow. He's low on food. Surprised enough because English or have usually have served food and come. Going down, does start repairing up the keep now. He needs to get the outpost abandoned, go for inside the keep. The keep extra arrows are stronger than the uh, power's extra arrows. Those 12 damage per arrow rather than 8. Long Glowing's getting some good hits there on these crossbows. Going for more mana arms now. And now he's trying to go for the elite longbow of research. We've got a massive amount of research for the science player, including elite army tactics. He's starting to repair the keep there. Oh, got lost a good number of villagers when they're trying to enter on in. He doesn't have boiling oil at the moment, nor network of citadels. Now we've got the elite man arms research as well. He needs to go, needs to go with pierce damage for his longbowman. And the keep does go down. Red does have a hundred villagers at the moment. Make that less now. 
And now there's Elite Long Bowman Research. Just give him extra damage. 11 damage versus opponents. 8 Pierce Armor. Which is significant to say the least. Huh, he wants. Sorry, I'm just thinking about something else. I thought the max out armor for Man of Arms were 4 4, not necessarily 5 5. Eh, I must be going crazy. I'm probably getting that confused with Kings and Lancers. Do not have these easy Coulombs dancing around. Or just advance the forge and get some good damage on these weak Coulombs. But we're now with 9 or 8 Pierce Armor. They can withstand quite a bit of abuse. Oh yeah, Man Arms guesses uh, 5 5. I think I'm probably getting mixed up with Keshix since they have. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. Track Castle still being repaired up. Getting we're seeing a lot of fire now from these kind of trip tree. Looks like he will be destroyed. Can't out repair the damage. Got some Elons on fancy ever. Even some of these guys sort of hidden away in the corner, like he is, will allow him to spawn out some stealthy battering rams. Things so villagers aren't going down. And now it's got some hand cannons on the field. They'll put holes in everything. Got Pierce Sanders not being researched by Red as well. Urchar Castle. Still being repaired on up. Keep us a bit of fire there. More Gilons pushing forward. Of course, these man arms. They don't have all the armor resources. They have the same armor as the Gilons, even though they can still get uh, two more armor each. Elon gains a good damage there onto this villager. And Kanir engaging the Elon at close range. Of course, with elite army tactics, we'll give him extra health and damage. Villager quite no, villager won't be able to deal with them. They got a lot of arrows. One going soft and shooting away. They do currently have both damage ones. That's going to have all this pure damage. But he can't, his Elon is just too durable for him at the moment. He needs crossbows. Now he's going to stand and fight with his villagers. He's going to lose a significant number of them. Now I've got the uh, lightweight beams there. Even fast reducing uh, fuel destruction. It's very handy for your units to pull out against the front line. We got some more hand candies for support to get some good damage on everything. And arms. Holding the line there. Very, very good choke point. Providing a very good choke point there. Now signs I am to pull out forward to keep. And all these villagers went down. The elite Keelum has six health remaining. Hand candies trying to get some more damage on in. He needs more mana arms out to back the front line. He does can get some gold gold. Good gold generation from closures, but he does have composers research. Now we've got some trebuchets dealing with that had dealt with the Birchard Castle, not hitting down this keep as well. He does not have more than of research. And Kenny is firing away. Red still has below 100 villagers mode. He's trying to hit these villagers here. It does get a couple kills there. We have textiles research, and these red villagers are now pushing forward. We'll manage to torch down those trebuchets there, and we'll need to run away. Right now, Red is loose, has no resource, resource reserve. Sign has a massive reserve of food. Not much of other reserve of other resources, but has more reserve than his opponent. And more research. And right now, the longer the game goes on, the more looks like it's going to favor in Cyan. Red specifically does not, has not been able to maintain good enough economy. Now he's on the 85 votes, bonus 335. Science of going out some of his own hand candy is now. Try to focus on these skills, which are trying to prevent it to keep from going on up. These batteries are not connecting with his own key. And Red does back up game now. This is Adam Gray saying, thank you for watching and on to the next replay.